So today we come to get this for the 2021-2022 installation. These are the choir that graciously sang for us for the Mass. Getting ready for that. These are the jewelry. My brother knights, ladies and gentlemen, I bring you greetings from our Supreme Knight, Carl Anderson, the Supreme Officers, the Board of Directors of the Knights of Columbus, and our worthy State Deputy, Dr. Noel M. Pandilio. Before we proceed to the important and pleasant task ahead, I will ask our worthy chaplain to invoke the blessing of God upon our efforts. Worthy chaplain, please, ask, please lead us in prayer. Great of Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh, Heavenly Father, we, your children, are assembled here to invest the chosen officers of our council to the middle Heavenly Father, aid us to be the finest example of complete dedication to practice Christian principles as well as one venerable Father, Father Michael J. Nakin, and to conduct ourselves to all times so as to reflect your holy will and the spirit of the Father and me. May our order and dignity for the duty and the outcast. To the example of his life and virtue, may we follow your son, Jesus Christ, for the Lord, fulfilling his commandment, charity, and fully to make prayer for Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall now sing our national anthem. Oh, say, can you see?
to the Black Day United States of America, and to the Republic for instance, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. To your retiring officers of this council, I offer my congratulations, especially to the new set of officers for work well done, and my gratitude to each of you for the devotion with which you have exemplified our principles of charity, unity, fraternity, and patriotism. To you, the council officers whom I am about to install, I express my confidence that you will add luster to your council's good works, making them even more beneficial to the church and thereby enhancing our order's proud name. In the life of every man, there arise many opportunities to take stock of his advancement, both in the spiritual and material sense, to repair omissions, to correct errors, and to plan for a brighter future. Your counsel to serve your parents, to strengthen your members and their families in the faith and benefit your neighbors. May I please have the list of the officers? Thank you very much for the chaplain. As council chaplain, you are near to the great vision and legacy of our founder, Venerable Michael McGivney, and a key figure in the structure of your council and steward of its spirituality. The genius of Father McGivney was that he saw the great potential inherent in the respectful collaboration between clergy and laity that lies at the heart of our order. More than ever before, your role as council chaplain is, is indispensable to the Catholic character of our order. I shall now present you with your chaplain's medal. to be installed forward. Worthy officers, you have been chosen by your brothers to guide the destiny of your council during this year. Your brothers have demonstrated their confidence. Remember that it is through their cooperation that your past achievements have been made possible. Continue to merit that cooperation by measuring all of your decisions in the light of what will be fair, just, and beneficial to them. Solicit their advice. Consider it carefully. But remember always, brothers, that the good of the order is paramount. Under the leadership of your Grand Knight, the Council officers must function as a united team. For so powerful is the light of unity that it can illuminate the whole world. As fraternal leaders, you should focus your energies in strengthening parish and family life and growing your council in membership strength, insurance protection for your families, charitable outreach, and fraternal activities. Remember, your council's greatest assets are its members and their unique gifts and talents. And now, Confident that you will fulfill the duties of your respective offices to the best of your abilities, live a good Catholic life, and serve as a model of Catholic brotherhood. We shall proceed with the installation of Council Office. Please raise your right hand and answer every question I do. Do you promise to obey the laws and rules of the order? Do you promise to be a Catholic gentleman and to live your life to the practice of good works that personify the charity that evangelizes? I do. Do you promise that through your actions you will help build the domestic church, protect the sanctity of the family, and promote respect for human dignity and religious liberty? 
do you promise to uplift those in need, to respect your fellow human beings, to treat all fairly, and to disagree with others honestly and respectfully through civil discourse and to support one another? Please lower your right hand. It is important that you and your members remember that upon the conduct of his depends the fate of all. Know that locally your council and globally our order is an enormous force for good and that the world needs us more than ever. Never hesitate to ask for help. Study the official instructions you have received and take advantage of any leadership resources that are available. So worthy council officers, I accept your promises as it was given in good faith by Catholic gentlemen, therefore, I shall now invest each of you with your medal of office, a symbol of the duties and responsibilities you accept as a knight of Columbus fraternal leader. I now ask that your wife come forward to join you for the investing ceremony and receive a token of appreciation from our council. For the Grand Knight, Dante Burgos. Worthy Deputy Grand Knight, Sir Arthur J. Santiago. May you ever wear this Deputy Grand Knight medal proudly so as to bring honor to yourself, your council and lord. May I next call and worthy councillor? May you ever wear this councillor medal proudly so as to bring honor to yourself, your council and the order. Congratulations, Lord. May I call on Sister Turner, Worthy Financial Secretary. May you ever wear this Financial Secretary medal proudly so as to bring honor to yourself, your council, and the order. Worthy Warden Ed Loda. May you ever wear this uh, Worthen medal proudly, so as to bring honor to yourself, your council, and to the order. Worthy recorder Tito Acosta. May you ever wear this recorder medal proudly, so as to bring your Honor to yourself, your council, and to the order. For the treasurer at Scalana. May you ever wear this treasurer medal proudly. So as to bring honor to yourself, your council, and to the order. For the advocate, Felipe, given Tisa. May you ever wear this advocate medal proudly, so as to bring honor to yourself, your council, and the order. For the trustees, Bel Bel Cesar Bel. Valencia and Loreto Lasan.
May you ever wear this resting handle proudly so as to bring honor to yourself, your counsel, and the order. Connecticut, 
This is where you can see all Tagalog, all, uh, uh, all members that are keeping their uh, achievements. And this council, I'm uh, proud to tell you that they voted our council again. Uh, we got awards. We got the award with the Father uh, Bakhtini Award and the Father Award. In the Star, Star Award, we don't have that because still we have missing a little bit, you know, with the years of the program. So how this year we can uh, improve that side and then get the probably you know, get the Star Award. Uh, according based what we already discussed, our future plan. We got some activities right now, you know. Uh, we're supposed to have one of this company, it's a family company outside, but unfortunately, you know, we still have fire, uh, so we cancel that activities. On uh, September uh, uh, 9, 9 and 19, 11, oh, uh, September 11, you know, uh, we have a family, you know, this is very normal. This is a uh, that consists of the uh, my nearly celebration by my dad, my birthday. But at the same time, we go away in uh, family mass in my house. So this part of calendar um, on September twenty uh, one, we have, uh, we have a company, you know, a family company again, which is. Uh, uh, it's going to have a match. So, that's what we're going to do. And uh, as far as the fundraising, we are going to discuss, you know, uh, we, we are talking about now you know, to the Garagodi Pancake Breakfast. Uh, this, this is a bit of common. So, that's the uh, fundraising. And then, uh, the second one, because we need more, you know, we more a budget council in order to keep running. And I also to maintain the integrity of our council. We would like again to have, uh, we are talking about the cropping. So I'm asking our uh, sister person because that already needs to be end. So we can like us how to start this operation. Uh, and uh, again, you know, that's it. Thank you very much. That's the report card uh, for this council, and I would like to congratulate our uh, newly elected uh, Colombian officials, 2021 and 2022, and also our uh, council service our uh, service officers. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for the one night. Please rise. As we close our official visit for the day, we please invoke the blessing of the Lord upon this man, who will serve as officers of this council and upon all of his present, who will be their close companions in the great world of the Knights of Columbus. Let me go ahead and uh, do the closing prayers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Worthy officers, as you now stand in you for a living cross, may the cross ever be a reminder to you that you must be renewed in Christ and that among the people of God flows from this renewal. Invoking God's help to fulfill this mission, I will now impart to you this blessing. Holy Father, we thank you for the graces which you have bestowed upon us all. We thank you for the spirit of cooperation which has reigned here and for the inspiration which you have placed in the hearts of these men today. We pray that you will find merit in the endeavors of our newly elected officers and the brother knights of this council. We ask this in your son's name, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. I declare this installation of Council Officers complete. All right, so thank you very much again. And 
I would also like to acknowledge and congratulate Mr. Art Santiago, who was uh, just recently elected as the faithful navigator. So a round of applause. Very proud of you and again. Uh, we will have some selfies, we will have some photos, and let's just go ahead and pray for the blessing for the food. Bless us, O oh Lord, that this day give, which we are about to receive from the bounty to Christ our Lord. Amen. And please bless those who prepare for it, bless those who are here today, and please pray for all those who doesn't have something to eat. In Jesus' own mighty name, Amen. Amen.